So Kanye West's mom, yes, his mom, right? She in fact died. Um, matter of fact, Kanye's mom in fact died the same year my dad died, and I think they died about a week apart, somewhere around the long. Yeah, cause I I remember. I thought that was the most oddest, strangest thing. And in fact, not too many people know, or maybe they do. Janet Jackson, she in fact attended Kanye's one because he was in concert. Yeah, like afterwards when he was going through his grieving and all the rest. Because you got to remember, he produced for a Janet Jackson as well, right? He did. Shout her out on even that. I just did, right? Jermaine Dupri, all of them being uh, close friends to a Janet Jackson. During the time Kanye was going through all his grieving after his mother died, Janet, yeah, was in fact within the stands at the show or whatnot. Kanye was, yeah, trying to get through with that. But like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two and combine them to one. Combine them as one. Combine them to one. Either way that you choose, see fit. I should, in fact, did this video over 10 years ago. Because to say that a video has come too late is to say it, it more than likely is not going to be useful to the viewer, right? And yet to have something to do right in your free time when you're like, yeah, chill out on the chill ice, chill out session. Instead of me getting online and ranting, sometimes it's for me to even pull random stories outside of the ones that I've already did. That's to say that that's one individual video that's done and created in the free time, my own, right? Helps to use time useful, wisely, right? But we already done heard all there is to hear pertaining to Kanye West and his bizarre activity in relation to his mother dying. I'm coming so late. So in a sense, you can say that this is a back issue. I like to do stuff like that. I think I'm the farther I go, because see, I just, I just in fact purchased a terabyte. A terabyte. You know what that is? Yes, a terabyte. That's in fact a 4TB for a mac yes i got all type of devices to keep me going with stuff but i needed that right because i like to when i record the videos and everything i like to do them back to back compiled and then when i'm in my free time i like to just throw one up like i'm throwing this kanye west video so once again this video is more likely not going to be useful and when i was speaking on the back issue that was too why i brought up the terabyte that i bought because back in the day, you used to have magazines in the covers where it would have like the back issues. Not too many people get into that type of thing today because they're so hard to find, right? You can go to the library, but even then it's still somewhat hard to find. I like stuff like that. The longer I go, I might still continue. I paused on the missing children videos for a split second. Yes, I did. To give my mind a rest and a break because missing children trying to solve their cases is a little bit different than adults. Because they weigh on the spirit. The children, I'm saying. The suffering with that. But yeah, the back issues of when you go in on old stories. How when somebody called me out, well, you know, Kendrick Johnson, uh, Cece wanted me to do that video in which I did about the murder analysis of a Kendrick Johnson, right? And somebody trying to check me, well, where have you been? This story happened in such and such time frame, year, 2013, 2014, somewhere around that time period, 2013, 14, 15. Why are you so late coming with this story? Because not everybody has seen the story. And not only that, it's good and it helps to do backstories. Some people don't know and understand how to take real life where it meets mass media. Where even mass media and the news uh, open up coverage on old stories and bring, bring them back to life. Back to life. No soul to soul involved, as in the song, right? That's a miracle in itself, bringing something from the past and refreshing it to retell it and re resell it again, which is what I did with even him trying to observe and see despite i didn't hardly pick it all apart kendrick johnson's story right but that's a back issue and me to do even kanye west's story in the same with me right and i was to say i'm doing it in the same way it's going to be owed but for my for my for me to give my take and questions is to say well it's refreshed and yet it's still not to the outsider because they done heard it all before but yeah, so Kanye's mom, and I didn't even go much more further. I just made a kind of like a blanket statement. Well, you know, this was done and that was done and that's it. But I, I want it here on my channel, despite what all was said and heard and that. Moving on. 
So, uh, yeah, anyone remember when Kanye tried to use his mother's... Anybody remember this? When, when Kanye tried to use his mother's plastic surgeon's face on his album as an album cover. The same surgeon that killed... Should I use the word killed or should I use another word in relation to Kanye's mom? The same surgeon, yeah, that had the situation with Kanye's mom dying. Kanye tried to use the man's face as his album cover. Kanye been known been known to do all type of bizarre things. I said that before. Because even he's a misfit, right? But with him doing that, that caused the surgeon to, in fact, issue a ceased and desist. Do you know what that is? When you put something up in relation to business and say you're using something of somebody else's that they don't want you to use is to say they can in fact present paperwork, even court documents in the form of field of a cease and desist as in make you take it down. Closure with that and leaving you pissed off and mad, right? Knowing you had something to do with say the mother dying, dear doctor, a Kanye West mother, uh, her dying and then Kanye not being able to get his mother back. People have all type of mental problems with that sort of thing. Right. And so, yeah. So the surgeon, in fact, requested that Kanye not use his face as an album cover because the surgeon took that as a form of slander. And it's so sad what happened to Kanye's mom, because I'm thinking if I was the surgeon, I love Kanye. I don't really get all into Kim Kardashian. We all know that, right? We all know that me being a big, a huge Janet Jackson fan and, and Kim Kardashian herself, where she was involved with a Jackson. We know that, right? Uh, but I'm not really a, a huge Kim Kardashian fan, but I do love a Kanye West. I always have with the yeah late registration when sometimes I bring that out late registration. Despite me sometimes, yeah, backstabbing on a backstab report, cracking jokes on even him. I should because he's nerdy, but fly, right? But yeah, I, I still with that, I, I kind of lean, I lean on both sides with them because the surgeon and as well as uh, Kanye, the way that Kanye feel, well, let me just use his face because he did in a sense kill my mom, right? And I'm willing to give love to the surgeon, right? For killing my mom, right? Because he feel like he can't get her back. But at the same time, I lean too on the side of the surgeon because uh, he felt like Kanye was trying to make him look bad over what happened to Kanye's mom and not only that uh the surgeon the facility in which Kanye's mother got the operation the the plastic surgery and everything she got done to her body that facility basically before she left told her they wanted her to stay yes at an outpatient uh kind of like a not really real rehabilitation but it is kind of rehabilitate chasing because anytime you get something done to your body as it says it's going to be damaged and it has to heal and so you go lay over there for a few days or a matter of weeks for that to take place. Yeah, dep depending on the plastic surgeon and the amount you paid and all the rest, as I say, the dates is going to be different even in you being released from a facility that you need to go heal at. And yet Kanye's mother was in fact responsible for that because she said no, she wanted to go home. And so with her saying that she wanted to go home and have some nurses at her house take care of her, it's to say that made the doctor or the surgeon, I should say, that made that plastic surgeon look very, very bad. Like the weight still stands on his hands. And yet it really shouldn't because Kanye's mother took the opportunity to just, she took her own chance. In a sense, she took her own life. That's sad for me to say that. Kanye's mother, in fact, took her own life because with her saying well okay the facility said i should go over here and stay with them over there and i'm just gonna go home you're asking well where's the guilt where does it stand at it stands the weight in fact stands once again in kanye's mom's hands and even kanye what even the kanye west has to face that he just does and if he paid for the surgery he's gonna have to face that as well that could be why his mindset is all warped and fucked up over there i love kanye i do I said it before, right? But to know that your mom didn't go where she was supposed to and say he paid for the surgery, if he did, maybe she funded it, right? It's to say she could have possibly killed herself twice. 
And then Kanye not being able to face that. That's just, yeah, that has to be outed and said. I'm sorry, precious love and precious life with that. It just real stay raw, right? So the, the emotional issues that will come with that. So what emotional issues unresolved could have come out of Kanye holding on to the guilt of losing his one and only mom? What, what, what kind of, because these tours and then me telling this story, I'm actually going in reverse, as you can see, because I see everything in reverse, solving problems in reverse, in which I love to do reverse engineering is what that's called. The name of to do something in reverse is to do it in the form of reverse engineering. So I'm going from the back more towards the front. Notice I didn't state what the surgeon has did or done to her body as of yet, right? I'm questioning first. And then I will get into uh, the history aspect of the surgery, surgery or the surgeon or whatnot, the situation of how her body was or wrapped up upon being released. I don't go all the way in, but just drop a little bit piece, right? So that the viewer that don't know too much about this story, right? But yeah, so what could be uh, unresolved emotional issues for even a Kanye West to have a breakdown, mental breakdown, and be doing sporadic things on stage for everybody to see and acting like he's Jesus and taking on the Jesus syndrome and all that. What could be the thing? Could the guilt be the very thing that's killing him on the inside internally? guilt what guilt stands with a Kanye West that just has to be said I, I can trust and believe since that there's all type of guilt that even he ain't saying so it said when people are in close yeah when people are together say standing as one as close such as Kanye and his mom when people are close like that and say someone dies usually the surviving person oftentimes hang on tightly to someone in their atmosphere after that person has died so do you think kanye's wife could be the reason she is there supporting him and all the rest because his mom died could you think because when you think before a kanye west because at first i thought well that's an odd couple kanye west getting with a kim kardashian it's odd but not completely like they fit they they fit with each other and yet if Kanye's mom would have never died do you think that he would in fact be with Kim Kardashian today in 2018 or even before 2018 if Kanye's mom was still alive and if he would have the babies that he had and will he still be acting real sporadic and bizarre i want you the viewer to leave a comment of that in the comment section is that is that the reason why a Kim Kardashian Kim Kardashian is with a Kanye West is because the offering of love and support needing to be there for him to keep him somewhat semi sane because if she wasn't there to say well how else would he be acting would he be more insane would he be with random women all up and down the block and possibly on flights and all the rest and with that how would Kanye in fact be uh if his mother was alive or say if she wasn't alive she was in fact dead but say if kim kardashian would have never stepped up to the plate or him getting at her one or the other right however the situation how would his mindset be right now through either i just through either one i just spoke on either situation i allow you the viewer to pick and choose if kanye's mom was still alive what type of man would he be because, see, when he came out and said Bush hates black people, <laughs> remember that? Was that around the year 2005? When did Hurricane Katrina take place? I think that was 2005. Kanye has always been the man in which he is. And yet people that wasn't really aware to a Kanye West didn't never know, even back then, that that was the type of man that he could be. Strong in the mouth is what I'm saying. To come out and say, well, Bush hates black people, right? or however he said it or worded it right that's the real Kanye because it had people all across the globe tuning into that sort of thing that was aired all across the globe for days on end even in the live section even when Mike Myers was standing there next to him not knowing what to say Mike Myers thinking well how can I clean this up because this, this ain't a this ain't a go or maybe I should be Mike Myers and just leave this alone right 
That had to be, yeah, 2005. And yet Kanye West's mother didn't die until 2008. November, specifically. Somewhere around November 17th or so. A 2000... No, not 2008, 2007. I'm sorry. His mom died somewhere around November, the second week or so of November 2007. And so those antics and all that with the ratio and Jesus walks and all that has always been him. And yet the set grieving on top of it is to say it's going to spill out even more. Or even your identity is going to be questionable. Are you cracking mentally over there or what's going on with your dear Kanye, right? I just think it's been all more magnified, as in that's just been more sort of public focus. And it's going to be that for people that misunderstand the misfit, but more so when even a parent or somebody close to you die, because even Britney Spears got that lens, the magnify, yeah, the magnifying of her life. When her aunt, was it her aunt that died? One of them, aunt, godmother, one of them died of cancer and Britney was over there shaving all her hair off and all that. That's going to be magnified anytime. I'm saying the, the mental issues with that and mental regulation with that is going to always be magnified in media because they want a piece of the coverage and the story with that. But not only that, it's going to make it look even more insane and crazy when that was you to begin with, that being Kanye. It's always been him. And when you magnify something like that to the public that ain't aware of who a Kanye West is, they just always going to think he's crazy, bat shit crazy, because they don't know him to begin with. So back to a starting point. So do you think Kanye will continue to have more kids just because his mom has died? Sometimes there's an empty nest, despite it not including a parent, and yet it does with her being gone, laid to rest, right? Usually an empty nest consists of a parent. And the children being gone out the house. But this situation is in fact the reverse. When I spoke about reverse engineering. Reversing a situation. The emptiness would in fact include Kanye. And the void. How people lose loved ones and then there's a void. And what they try to do. The individual that's the surviving individual. Whether it's a child. Mother, father, brother, sister. A void usually comes with that. Some people overeat. Some people use drugs. Some people use all type of intoxicants. Some people zone out on TV. And then for others, what they'll do is they'll have 50 million kids to fill in the void or say where they lost a parent. So do you think Kanye is going to continue to have more children to fill the void of where his mom was? That's not to say that she could ever be replaced, no. But I myself have known individuals I grew up and went to school with that their mother and their father both died back to back, as in a few years spans apart. And it, yeah, this one individual has about like seven or eight kids. And even back in her day, she would have never been one of those type of individuals to be considered to have a whole bunch of babies like that. But when you talk to her in conversation and learn who she is and get to know, even that comes out as in it stands in her mouth of why she's doing that. Having baby after baby almost sooner or, la sooner or later is going to be at nine, 10 or 11 kids to fill the void of her mother and father both being gone. She's trying to replace what is in fact missing the void, the hole she just seemed like she can't fill. And yet to have that many kids is to say she does feel wholesome to a point. Because not only are the kids now a part of her, but a part of her mother and father as well because they created her. Created, created her. So could that be a situation of Kanye's? Yeah, so I stated that about the kids being born and how people do that. Um... Kanye, if you notice, lately he's been, yes, rising out of his grief. Is he? Do you think, viewer, that he's rising more out of his grief or is he still in his grief? These days it's hard to say. I remember when he was doing the, uh, when he was doing the, what was it? You do a partnership with, say, like Adidas. Was it Nike or Adidas? I think it was, in fact, Adidas when he was, yeah. He was on Sway. Sway, you know, Sway, the guy that does the, the XM and all that, right, doing interviews and whatnot. Kanye was on there and on a few other interviews, and he was going off, screaming, going off. Because he couldn't really get his way with certain, yeah, and people that's in the fashion world that's over, and him wanting to team up and work with them, and them not, say, promoting and endorsing him and all this other stuff, all the stuff that he wanted and needed to pro propel his career I think he felt because he's a black individual, they wouldn't really do it for him, and yet they would do it for others. He wanted to be on their level, and he was feeling like he should be. 
and that race race really shouldn't have nothing to do with it right because sometimes you can be so genius you see stuff in yourself other people don't see and sometimes those people in fact need to be told trust and believe kanye kanye might be viewed as crazy he may be taken as bipolar or whatever they want to say about him but kanye the man himself is in fact a genius and he knows and it's a time and place to even call that out as in it should be stated because to never show that you believe in yourself and never uh recognize game on that as in when people are trying to hold you down keep you down away from opportunities is to say you're never going to be there with those people and you're never going to make it that's why sometimes even a kanye west have to come out more brilliant in the mind with the shine by telling even them sometimes even white folks that look i am in fact a genius if you don't know i'm in fact a genius and no just because i'm brown don't mean i'm less than because you do have some time in the industry and all the rest where color does in fact play into you know people feeling like you're not well deserving because you're a different shade and yet even god or the universe will see us all as equal but once again it always helps to say that you are in fact genius because see the show that you can be genius as improve yourself is to say people are in fact over time going to believe it once you prove yourself sometimes it helps take proving talk less and just prove right and they will in fact come in contact up close with even that as in seeing well damn Kanye is who he said he is well damn she's on the camera and she is who she said that she is and was well damn Bill Gates either one of them it, it don't matter who it is people that be real uh in astronomy and all the rest same thing NASA you gotta say who you are and represent who you are because ain't nobody gonna run the game on your end people more likely will let you die out because that's what America be about anyways independence and doing stuff yourself so I just every time I see Kanye going on and on about oh I'm genius or oh, I'm brilliant I'm like well yeah go ahead with that I might not get it all into your wife like that but yeah go ahead with that sort of thing because you just need and you being a black male is that it needs to be stated that that should never stop because see you got many black folks a lot of times within the majority that lack self-esteem and many more of them that would in fact hate and despise a kanye west not only because he has did what he did to get to where he is but because he throws in their face the fact that he's a genius well why not because potential goes wherever you steer it and veer it to not believe in yourself is to end up a low life Kanye shouldn't want to be doing that. So, uh, moving on. So, yes, I'm wondering, I'm questioning if he's rising out of his grief. And that's in relation to the past mental breakdown. Do And let me fast forward. Do you think a celebrity surgical tactic gone wrong could have not only led to Kanye's mom's demise, right? But more than anything, do you think sense as well as feel kanye still carries the guilt i asked that already in relation to yeah someone close to him who see that that points back to who who paid for the surgery i always be yeah going in about that who paid for the surgery it wasn't the the surgical tactic or surgeon that killed her no who, who paid and foot the bill of the surgery that, that that's completely that that type of stuff to pay for a surgery because see look all that is shallow to begin with hell hollywood is shallow right that's what it's about industry shallow getting boobs done getting stitched up and all the rest right and you're paying all this money for that right that has to be a eat a eat away at the conscious kanye if he paid for that even if his mother paid for it because it's like you're doing all this surgical work on your mother or her doing it on herself just to fit in with Hollywood and yet even surgeries don't last long I'm saying stuff start to slide down over the few years after you done had the surgical procedure done where you got to go back and get an uplift again see what I'm going with this so was it really worth it for his mom to have the surgeries done to begin with because it say once she got stuck in the surgery is it say she was going to have to keep doing it some individuals do because to be older and know your hormone shift and your body shift with all that and the weight and sometimes excess weight and you're putting on water weight and all the rest is to say, well, now, damn, I'm bloated. So I might, in fact, need to go over here to get liposuction and yet that might not even be needed. You might just need to fast or something and drink some water and come off of eating breads and pasta and all that. 
and eat some soup and stuff and salads. Sometimes people get surgery done for the wrong reasons. And I don't think that was her intention. She looked lovely in face. She do look, Kanye's mom do look lovely in the face. Like she can be really, yeah, sweethearted with that and caring. Yeah, because she in fact left, she in fact left her job to spend time with him. That's interesting too, how sometimes God or the universe will prep you, as in put you closer with somebody just to spend enough time. And not be distant because the universe or God know that sooner or later that person is going to die. So so that y'all can form a much more closer bond and have some peace with that. Before a person drift off to heaven is to say sometimes that is there as well. A parent leaving their job to become uh, in, within the management team of a Kanye West. And when I say that more so being close with him more than anything than managing so when it comes to uh was it kanye yes I, I still just would love to know who paid for what so the history of kanye's mom i'm still going in reverse kanye's mom and her history so she was born on july 12th 1949 dondra donda why well, i say dondra not Shouts out to Jermaine Dupree with that. Because I said Dondra. Not, no, not Dondra. Donda. West, right? Died on November 10th, 2007. She was a mom manager. Momager. People say momager, right? Same thing, right? I say mom manager, right? She was more like a mommy manager to son Kanye. She worked at the Chicago State University in the English department before she got all tied up in his managing affairs that's where she worked chicago state university in the english department which which could be where kanye gets his writing skills and all that right i didn't mention his father in this piece and yet i should okay so she retired and the reason stemmed from an interest in wanting to work with yes work with kanye months before she died not months before she died Months before she died, she wrote a book about Kanye named Raising Kanye, Life Lessons from the Mother of a Hip-Hop Superstar. I said that all messed up, didn't I? Sometimes when I do run on sentences that, yeah, that drift in the night air with that, right? I messed that up when I said that. But she did. That was the reason for her wanting to work to spend time, more time with her son. But yeah, the, the book, in fact, came months before she died and what's so interesting and intriguing about that is the fact oftentimes people in fact go into making films or they go into writing books like memoirs and if you notice many of them end up dropping dead that is weird in itself it's almost like god or, or the universe had a calling on their life right then to print that out so that it can be there the memoir or the or the book or the film People have been known, yes, to write memoirs on their own life or in relation to a child or mother or brother, sister, whatever, grandparent. And then right after they're they're dead or halfway through writing it. That That's so strange. I think people, yes, know when they're going to die as one time is up. So the book's release, that title once again, was called Raising Kanye Life Lessons from the Mother of a Hip Hop Superstar. The book's release came months before she died. I said that, and it was released May 2007. Very close in months. I was going to say close in age, that release date in relation to her dying. Because it was released in May, and yet she died in November. Man. So the surgical mishaps. Kanye's mother, she endured breast reduction, liposuction, and a tummy tuck under the hands of a plastic surgeon by the name of Jan, Jan Adams. That's a ladylike name, isn't it? Jan Adams? That's not a joke. It's a twisted curveball. Jan Adams was a plastic surgeon that did the work on his mother. Five hours after surgery, mom of Kanye was free to leave the clinic. She wanted to return. Yes, go back. She, in fact, wanted to go home. And I said that in the beginning of the video, which was the, the right and wrong right she wanted to return under care despite the facility in which administer the surgery recommended she receive post 
operative care at another facility instead of her going home. That that's the mess up right there. That that's right there is the thing that most people want to overlook. The responsibility sometimes when you kill yourself with that. The responsibility has to stand even in the grave. It's so sad. So yeah, she chose none. She didn't want to go to that facility. And with that, she was heavily bandaged. Yes, she was completely because the beat that locked up in surgery as in you cut got cut marks everywhere. She was heavily bandaged as well as prescribed Vicodin. Yeah, and she also had high blood pressure. People that didn't get into the news and all that didn't know that. Well, did she have any other health conditions? Yes, the high blood pressure goes with that. Because you got to be careful what you use. Because even the high blood pressure could have been the very thing that killed her. Because so, many of these medications are in fact sodium based. Sodium based. To be on a medication of one kind and say you're using it painkillers and all the rest is to ask the question. Is Vicodin laced with sodium? Some drugs are in fact coated with very things, with various things. That way that your body, your body is able to fully digest it and all the rest, the coating of these pills. So you do want to ask the painkillers in which she was popping to kill the pain off after these surgeries if, if they in fact uh, had sodium in them. Because she already had high blood pressure, which means she was going to end up dying or having a heart attack or stroke. Could have had, if she was still alive, trust and believe, she possibly would have had a, had a stroke and been either somewhat bedridden. Kanye's mom, she would have had either a stroke and been slightly bedridden for the rest of her life or somewhat half a handicap or comatose or something. Because you don't want to play with high blood pressure with medication. And all medication has to be timed a certain way too, which is how she died because it was in question of if she had took over 24 painkillers within a 24 hour period. That's too many pills. That's suicide right there. But she didn't know, right? She was just popping them to relieve the pain. That's that's why that facility wanted her there because more likely she would have not needed that many pills for that type of pain. They more likely would have ran a drip on her. Do you know what a drip is? At, at uh post-operative uh facilities where you done been stitched up and sliced up through surgery work they will usually run some type of drip on you so that you don't need all that pain medicine it's it's another type of pain medicine in the form of liquid liquefied pain medicine because some of those pain pills get in your body and they sit as in they don't move, they don't come out through the kidney, which is why the kidney filtration system is there to begin with, is to wash all that stuff out, right? But if you got other health conditions such as high blood pressure and all the rest, is to say, sometimes medicine, yes, uh, there's a shelf life, there's a, yeah, a cycle of how medication distributes throughout your body in a timely fashion. That's why they tell you don't take so many pills within so many hours with that. Depending on what illnesses you got, those medi medications are not going to be all the way swiftly pushed out of your body, e not even through urine, peeing it out, drinking a lot of water and peeing out the pills, trying to. Because sometimes high blood pressure poses blood circulation issues, too, which is how people die taking too many pills. I be knowing a lot of stuff I don't even speak on. And yeah, for me to speak too much is for people to get even irritated and animosity thinking, well, you, you think you're a know-it-all. No, because somebody, in fact, close to me died in that same type of way. Not through surgery, no. Having too many pills in their body and having blood, poor blood circulation. High blood pressure and other type of conditions with that. Where the pills didn't circulate, so it, in fact, killed them off, right? I usually know what I'm speaking of. I just keep it real with that. So, um, let me see. With her going home and the way that she did, she, in fact, uh, yeah she was sent home by choice and an ex she wanted in fact in a her experienced nurse an experienced nurse and various family members cared for her at home the plastic surgeon jan a jan adams stated there was no issues or complications during surgery despite the process being length length yeah lengthy i can't even get my words out when something is at length as in it's long Despite, that's what that surgeon of her said, Jan Adams. There was no complications, yes, on the table. 
during surgery. There was no issues, and yet the surgery was in fact long. That, that's just that mess up, that loose string of her going home. There's no unsolved mystery in this. Her going home like that is what, what did that. You should never, you should always want to, yeah, go be, be where they tell you to go. Because see, she could have been, she could have been in the room and stopped breathing. Not even from pills, from just complications of, say, the, the wombs and all that. Some people get surgery and stuff like that and get sick. As in there have been infections and stuff like that. Infections. Sometimes in a matter of 24 hours, right? Not everybody's body can handle a plastic surgery, right? And so when you're getting uh, infections, it's a no even uh, uh, like, what's the word for it? To get an infection, uh, you had plastic surgery, and then you get an infection or something in a matter of 24 hours or even in a matter of days. It's to say you might, in fact, uh, start a fever, have a fever because even infections do that. You get a fever and then your blood pressure goes up as well with the fever, right? It just has to, which is why you get hot and then sometimes get chills, right? Some people sometimes have been known to stop breathing because of other conditions along with having an infection and a fever with that. Stop breathing. So then what do you do despite you having experienced nurses? Sometimes the ones that you feel are highly experienced are not. Even family members seeming they didn't have no degree in that or none of that. That's to say, well, what do you do being Kanye's mom and then you stop breathing in the house? Who's going to resuscitate you? Because if one of those experienced nurses walk out of the room and she stopped breathing, it's to say, well, that's the end of that. That's why it helps to be at a facility hooked up to monitors and all the rest. That That is so sad. Because see, a monitor would have picked up as soon as her blood pressure was dropping. That's That's why they hook you up to that stuff. Monitors pick up all that in the hospital. That This is the worst tragedy ever. She wasn't in a facility, which means no monitors. Whatever monitors they had her on wasn't enough. The monitors possibly would have told that too much medication was in her, was in her body to begin with, enough to shoot off an alarm to the nurse's station down at the end of the hall to make them come in the room. To try to wean her body back down off the medicine, pain medicine. But not only that, they would have the, at the hospital, not the hospital, at the post-operative facility they wanted her at, they more than likely would have managed the dosage of the pills. Kanye's mom would have still been alive. Because she would have been on the right uh, dosages. She would have been on the right uh, machines. If something in her body would have went up too much, over at the nurse's station, they would have got that. That's what the alarms and buzzers are for. That's why it helps to not go home. Because you don't have the same type of machinery that post-operative facilities have. <sighs> That's too much. Okay, so the complications occurred once she returned home. It's thought she took, yes, 24 pain killing Vicodin in less than 24 hours. That's too much. That's That's too much. The most Vicodin you want to take in a 24-hour span is no more than four. And I'm thinking a bottle will tell you that, no more than four Vicodin in one day. So she died at home and not and not on the surgical table because some people be trying to be conspiracy, conspiracists, into conspiracy theory and all that other stuff. A conspiracy theorist. That is, in fact, not my own. I, I like facts. I might question stuff, but I, in fact, like truth and facts, right? She died at home. But people try to make up stuff to make it seem like that surgeon killed her or some Illuminati killed her or Kanye sacrificed her to be where he is. And that's not the truth. No. So, of course, the surgeon not only lost his business, but he also lost his reputation. Yes, it did completely collapse up underneath that, right? That just has to happen so Kanye blamed his own self because he felt he should have never moved to LA Kanye felt that if he would have had his mother say moved yes moved to New York and not have her living in LA then she would more likely still be alive because see LA is all about the tensils as well as the stencils 
tinsel town and all that trying to be young cute and fly and getting surgery with that to look like everybody else and many in hollywood in fact be looking like aliens going overboard with the surgery i mean it don't be looking right it looks so plastic back in the day plastic surgery didn't look like that and yet these days sometimes it makes me disgusted at how artificial it look I'm saying because nowadays people are getting a surgery and they're starting to look like Catwoman. That the one chick that was getting a uh, was her name Catwoman or was it something else? Her face was all bloated up and all that. That's how many in celebrities are starting to look nowadays. You shouldn't be want to go that far with that. You should want something more natural or something, right? But yeah, the limelight. That's a tragedy on the self-esteem in Hollywood. As well as a uh, self-esteem comparison, as in you're looking, well, my boobs are too small, my boobs are too big, my thighs are too small, my thighs are too big. And you're standing around in L.A. looking at everybody. Kanye, in fact, feels that L.A. ate his mother alive. Because she was out there staring at people and comparing herself, even at that age, of wanting to be beautiful and presentive just as much as the young fly chicks. That's what That's what it does, right? And that's not me bashing anything because to be a part of something in that is to say I'm just doing elaboration on it. Looking into what needs to be called out. Even to the viewers that is not in Hollywood. How when you compare yourself with others you just have to trip and go downhill with that and possibly die. That's how death is found for some people. He just, he feels all the time the guilt over the head, cast it with that and possibly doubt when he wake up in the morning that, man, if I wouldn't have moved my mom out to L.A. and had her more so in New York, she would still be around us today. And possibly being able to see our kids and, and, and babysit our kids and could have been in the delivering room while the kids was being born. You never know what be on Kanye's mind after dark or when ain't nobody around or even while he's sitting in there in a recording studio you don't know right so i'm wondering what other way have kanye acted out outside of the limelight and which wouldn't be witnessed by others because see we all human beings have deep deep dark thoughts sometimes that's just what life presents yet you have up and then you have down that's the balance of life, right? You have happy, you have sad, you have mad, glad, whatever, right? And all in between. And so the dark thoughts in which Kanye have, I wonder what type of dark thoughts do there be at times? Even in him dealing with his wife, because that's enough. To know that both of y'all are in the limelight is to say, well, what do you have with that? Sometimes too many people in your business, right? And now you got kids, so now everybody want to be in your kids' business. And then you got paparazzi being disrespectful towards you, right? And you're fighting them out in public. A lot of stress goes in with that. And then sometimes business deals not going the way that you want them to go. And then the fighting and stress, fight and stress with that is to say, well, sometimes do you feel like you as Kanye was feeling like you wish you should have walked away or something? Or do you just continue to go on and try to get through? popping pills or something you don't know what Kanye is on you never know who's on what right to just get through the day because I always say the best way to get through life is to remain detached the art of detachment when I said that in one of my other videos the best way to get through life and float and drift through life through life is to be detached even from the outcomes of stuff situations it helps keep a light in your own life or when you feel dark or even when you're a Kanye West and the unpredictability of life because I have wanting business deals to be all proper and say it's not going in that way or it wasn't when he was screaming on the radio set with that right during the interviews is to say even Kanye should have been detached from that they more than likely possibly would have given it to him but that could be why too with the business deals and Kanye when he didn't get what he wanted that could be too why they didn't give it to him because they know he's known to get attached and sometimes too attached to stuff enough to be going off in the wrong way, which could possibly be bad on the end of their investors. And not only that, him helping to front, because once you once a company or something start endorsing you as to say now you make them either look good or you make them look bad. And they question whether you're retarded once you get screaming and 
going off ranting about Bush despite you doing it years before, right? It's to say those type of people more than likely wouldn't want to work with a Kanye West despite them half in the ways in which he didn't want it when he wanted more, right? Because you're you're almost like a brand ambassador for those. The endorsement and all the rest is to say sometimes people no longer want you doing stuff like that or being a part because in a sense you don't know how to act, carry yourself or represent yourself and other people. Which is why some businesses don't want Kanye West setting foot on their property. That has to be stated because uh because how he can get reckless in the in the mouth. Almost like how I can, right? But yeah, the, the mental stability with that on Kanye's end is questionable. The ups and downs of life that will help him to swing every which way. And wondering how is he able to manage that in 2018. Because when I see him from afar, because I'm so different and unique, I see almost, almost see myself in him. And yet I'm not bipolar how they say, well, when you see somebody, you see yourself in them. Yes, I can see that myself in Kanye West. And yet I'm not bipolar, right? I feel like all humans have some trace of bipolar. And yet that's not the title. It's just the up and downs of life. But more than anything, Kanye just seems very normal to me. His normalcy. Because normal, normal doesn't exist. Different exists, right? So, yes, yeah, strong opinions. When it comes to strong opinions. It just, he just, he expresses, yes, himself differently with the strong opinions. That's going to always be Kanye the man. He ain't, he more likely ain't going to never change. I think even, a, I think if even Kim Kardashian was to become a full-blown whore and cheat all on him or whatever and go make babies elsewhere, Kanye will possibly be deeply broken and grieving in heart with that, but more than likely he's going to set foot again by opening his mouth and saying what he even feel about her and possibly throwing dirt on the womb on her own end. Just because they in love now is to say you never know about the future with that sort of thing. I'm not saying anything bad. No, I'm just saying how a person is one way and oftentimes they never change. They evolve in evolution, yes. But his strong, oriented, opinionated self is going to always be there. And he might more than likely teach his kids, more so his son, that I can possibly see him teaching his daughter more of that than he teaches his little son. I don't know why that is. Because it even put her in modeling like she was modeling. Yes. The West children over there. Right. Kanye's daughter. Right. I'm thinking he's going to want her to be more forward and vocal because he ain't going to want no man to take advantage of her. Even if he dropped dead or something and she's in the world of modeling. He ain't going to want no casting couch or none of that involved. So I can see even him teaching his daughter to have a vocal piece like his and possibly disrespect some of them executives in the process to let them know that she ain't nothing to be fucked with. Fucked with, right. Because you got all type of executives that will be trying to sleep with young girls of famous people with that. Some daddies don't go for that. So Kanye too, yes, he's the misfit, misunderstood I'm wondering what are some of his private choices that he has made, some of his wrong choices during a time when his mother first died and he was grieving heavily. Sometimes that's during a time, during a time like that, when somebody first dies, such as a mother or something like that, or father, people oftentimes make some of the worst decisions in life. And yet they don't always show it publicly. Unless it's real close to somebody that's close to them that they know. And they know and yet not the public know, right? I wonder what type of bad choices or decisions he has made outside of what we already know. Stuff that's kept in the closet. That helps to understand his mental state as well. I just think that he's a normal person. Not normal by normal society standards, but once again by his own standards, right? So when, yeah, when his mother with the grieving and the dying, when it first happened and all that, he fueled his pain into album after album and tour after tour to help him yes to stay somewhat semi-sane as people like to say well we don't know what Kanye is is he crazy or what he did that over the years recording albums after albums and going on tours after tours keep himself busy to prevent falling into a slump of depression is, is why people do that and as you can see yes his music 
it has in fact made a major shift after his mom's death. Many fans were in fact upset by the musical shift, let me tell you, and many still are. They're like, well, we want the old Kanye West back. We want the old Kanye. We want the old Ye. And yet not everything stays the same. Things is purpose to change as well as evolve. Not all the way, but somewhat. Whatever helps you to grow as a person, it just has to be done or be stagnant. And stagnancy leads to early death. That has to be said. There's been a lot of change, yes, in Kanye's life. It has been. But life itself is crazy. Ask anybody that knows. It's so intriguing when people be saying, oh, celebrities are so crazy and celebrities are this and they're just crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, Michael Jackson was crazy. Oh, Janet Jackson is the sanest one out of the family. No, I love Janet and yes, she has issues like everybody else. I love myself and I have issues like everybody else. I love Oprah Winfrey and she has issues like everybody else. And yet we could all be considered crazy, crazy, crazy. Because life is crazy, crazy, crazy. You can't detect. You can't always detic or dictate a mood. I'm I'm saying I keep saying dict. You can't always dictate the moves of life. You might want life to drive this way, and then life is going to take you that way. It's going to play with your mind, and it might in fact shift you and change you somewhat slightly, as in forcing you to grow in ways in which you didn't want to. When you say, "Well, I will just go off to the corner," and I'm gonna go off to the corner and die because my mom died or because my father died. I'm gonna go over and just hide away and die off as is. Life might not want you to do that. Life might, in fact, want you to come to the light and speak to those individuals that might need to gain understanding or those that might need to be talked to because they're unafraid or because they misunderstand the world. They might, in fact, need to be taught. And sometimes only you can be the only person to do it while they're the observer and Kanye West is one of those type of individuals because to be real different is to know that you're going to have to teach the people why people are different to begin with and the gain of acceptance as in you teaching the world how to accept other people who are so different people are placed yes in the light with that because it, to not have a Kanye West there and him being different like that is to say you might in fact be meted and greeted with various suicides because of people being rejected and the the acceptance thing not being there acceptance not being there where people want to feel accepted feel that they belong and yet feel out of reach out of touch with other individuals right a Kanye West or other individuals that don't even have that size stature and move or the fame level could still teach people what a misfit is and how it's okay to be one and how you ain't got to go lay and die because people misunderstand misunderstand you on that that that, that just you just reach out to other misfits join the tribe in that and just accept them even more and love on them even more with that but yeah i think i think with kanye a lot of growth is going on and i can see a lot more going on so I want you to viewer to tell me what you think about the mommy situation and her dying and what you think what is going to be the future of a Kanye West because it's, it seems like all has been taken off yeah as time goes on despite the mental break with that and the mental hospital stay with all that and the 911 call it seems like everything is improving on his end Sometimes they people do in fact have what you call a backslide when you go in reverse and you hit the hit the patch again, a rough patch, right? Never know about a Kanye, right? If there's any mental illness there or not, what, right? And the treatment that goes with that, right? But I don't know. I just I could just see his life moving upward and forward with that, and even more so passionately, seeming he's vocal anyway, Kanye. That's what I like him for. I do. I don't really get into Jay Z and all the rest like that, but I do. Yeah, Kanye, he's cool. Shouts out to Paula. Add the favors. To add to favors is to click the plus sign. Eva lives here. Fatal Vows. American Monster. Did I just drop down? I did on the hatchback. My fault. Lieutenant Joe Kenda, Homicide Hunter. Blood Relatives. These are all the shows we offer. ID. The logo, in fact, sits above in the upper far left-hand corner, up above my head, 
right here live now what's live now you ask what lies beneath to click across or scroll across you can add to watch later yes to click here is to see a preview this is in fact the description of the show all these in fact have descriptions as well as a preview to go through is to know or come to know right to gain access is to provide your provider yes in relation to your tv screen and all the rest you have to have that in order to gain access to the other side description here i'm messiah hunter lieutenant joe kenda season eight episode six all that is some of them are a few of them are in fact locked because that that points to exclusive being exclusive in a sense that's what that points to only the special kind can open wide with that. Unlock series. ID original series. To catch a killer inside the chase. These are the good originals. Either one. Scrolling over is to get a description with that. Schedule preview. Yes. You can still watch live with uh, what lies beneath. If you was to click that right now, we'll take you there. Support to save the children's hurricane relief efforts. You can click here to donate. Crime feed news to click anywhere in between here, whether it's Bill Cosby's forehead, not specifically, but somewhat. Click in this area, click here is to be directed on the outside to the crime feed. Yes, news exact crimefeed.com is where you can, in fact, find that the location area designated spot. Crimes and tragedies, missing children, and all the rest. Red crimes, hidden murders. There's a download button for that. We got apps for everything. To receive a newsletter is to type in your email and click next with that. And you would in fact receive a newsletter from ID, a team as one. So I think that's all to be said for now. I hope over time uh, Kanye in fact comes face to face with his own grieving and loss and you know try to teach his kids you know because that's the most important the younger generation teaching his kids about who his mother was the older they get and showing photo albums and the stuff that his mother has taught him and what they used to do together whether travel or cook together or whatever she used to do with Kanye him teaching his daughter and son that the order that they get that keeps a memory alive in a positive way instead of him getting all you know emotionally deep in the dumps and with that that's going to heal Kanye more than anything and possibly more so trust and believe Kanye getting on getting on stage that serves the public and that's fine sometimes headache can come out of that because it's you know you can't please everybody but trust and believe Kanye going much more deeper in depth with his children the older they grow and grow up right and him telling stories and backstories old stories on his mom and her life and the communication they had with one another being mother and son that's going to heal his grieving more than anything i can see that coming in the near future in the light for even a kanye west trust and believe more so than him being on tour and uh going in studios and all that that that's just a percentage him being close with his kids and all that and going on about what his mom how she was and that's going to kill kanye completely i can see that so I think that's all to be said for now. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And I guess that's all to be said for now. I'm gone. Enjoy the night.